Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Down to Earth episode 194 to whatever episode I am able to. I think it's still, it's only at, it stopped at episode 200. So I think it's possible that I can definitely finish the entire read. Uh, it is on a hiatus right now. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I don't have my baby with me and today is my husband's turn watching the baby for a bit so I can finish it. So hopefully uninterrupted unless he needs milk. So you're from another planet like Earth? That's way far away. That's way far away like way out there. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> I think Earth is insane. Zodia might have more advanced technology. But there's so much more to do and enjoy here. You have video games and so many options of food. You can express yourself through clothes, hobbies, and interests. I hope both never take that for granted. I think... I've taken it all for granted my entire life. Same here. Wait. That night, I was drunk. That conversation you, you two had, did that actually happen? On my home planet, there is no such drink that alters one's behaviors. Zay, you can use your tele telepathy on him and tell me what he's thinking right now. It's still really fuzzy. But you were suddenly floating. You guys were going to read my thoughts? While I was unconscious? Uh, uh, yeah, that all happened. Don't blame Zeta. It was my idea and she wasn't comfortable with it. Why? Why would you want to do that? I just didn't understand your motives. Letting Zay model despite knowing about the fake ID, being nosy, pushing yourself into my circle of friends. I was worried maybe you knew more about Zay than it seemed. I also didn't want her to get fired. She seems happy working with you. I wanted to know if you were hiding something. That's a great point. That's all. I'm sorry, really. Well, I guess I can understand. News about her could cause mass hysteria. That wouldn't be good. Mm. I still feel pretty hysterical. <sighs> Actually, I, I am curious. How does the telepathy work? Do you hear thoughts all the time? No, no, not like that. We touch foreheads, then we share. We share thoughts. You okay? I am okay, if I'm to be honest. Ever since my horns have grown back in, I have developed new abilities that are not normal to Zodians, like telekinesis. And a new kind of mind reading, like advanced telepathy. I do not have to do anything. I just... Your thoughts. I cannot control it. Uh, is that why you flew off? You heard my thoughts? <laughs> so, it was my fault. I'm so sorry. No, it, it was not your fault. I got in my head about it. I thought my friends were going to abandon me because of my new look and my powers that I am struggling to handle. I won't lie, all of this is terrifying to me. I hate that I phrased it like that, though. And I am sorry that I am hearing things I should not. Seems like something you can't help anyways. I know you said you heard Cosmos' thoughts, but you can hear all thoughts? Yeah, it is random, however. Oh, that's how you know I was stressed. Wait, 
Have you been hearing my thoughts for a while now? Her face. <laughs> She's sweating. Oh, goody. <laughs> well, guess I better head out. Hope you had a good birthday. Thank you for visiting. Kate was very worried you would not show up. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Stop. Oh, before I leave, there is another modeling event coming up. In a few months, that is. It's the same event Spenders did last time, but this time you can walk on the runway. <gasps> Spenders fans are loving you. If you can't make it, that'll be great. I should be hornless by then, hopefully. <gasps> I will let you know. Awesome. There's no collab either, so Delilah won't be there. No awkward tensions. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Hmm. I keep hearing you say pizza. Yeah, there's some in the freezer. I'm very hungry. <laughs> Let's cook it right away. Uh, Zay? And really hurts. Zay? <gasps> she she getting dizzy. <gasps> Zeta! Okay, that's new. We never seen her faint, so... Oh, crap. Okay. Are you sure I was like, oh, it didn't load earlier. Zodian? Oh. <gasps> well, this is trippy. That looks like a deer with three eyes. Oh! <gasps> Why are you here? He here? What do you mean? Who, who are you? You must return. Return to your birthplace. Return to... Sodia? Why? I never will. I never wish to see Zodia again. How do you know me? Tell me who you are. What, what do you know? <gasps> She's crying. What was that? You're awake. Are you okay? What happened? Y you don't remember? You blacked out. I, I did? Did you not eat enough today? I, I do not know. You're really warm. But I still don't know if that's normal for you. It hurts. It still hurts? I'll get you some medicine for your headache. Oh, I don't know if that painkillers would work on her, but... I really put an empty pill bottle back in the cabinet. There's none? Oh, no. Nice. It really irks me when people do that. Like, when there's if a container, like... A, a, like milk, right? A, a jug of milk. If it's empty, throw it away and tell the person who does the grocery shopping, hey, there's no more milk, go get some. Instead of just not saying anything and just putting it back where it was. Like, yo, just that just irks me. Here, I, I got your wet cloth. Thank you, Kate. This does not help pain, but it feels very wonderful. Zay. Do you know what's going on? Did this ever happen on Zodia? I need to know if there's something I can do. Uh, if there were complications with my horns, they hooked me up to their machines, then all is well. I do not know the workings of the machines. I hate it when I click that. Or what was happening to me. My theory is that I have never let the horns grow out so much. So I am currently experiencing that natural cycle of my horns, without my nurses and family disrupting it. I will be okay. Everything will go back to normal once they fall off. Promise? 
The thing is, they extracted those stuff off of her horns, and then once they did, the horns was gone. So I feel like they don't naturally fall off if I were... Hmm... I promise. I swear. All of this worrying over you will be the death of me. Kate, I had a strange dream. There was a big deer-like creature. It was made of clouds. And it knew me. It told me I should go home. Sounds like some sort of fever dream. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I'll be back. I'm going to get you some stuff. I will be okay. I believe you. But if I can make this easier, then I will. Okay. <gasps> be careful, Kate. That box? I totally forgot about that box. He set it on fire, but then he took it back and he put it in his closet. Oh, that was a while ago. Mom Mart. Maybe I should buy both for, for options. We could test to see what works best for her. Oh, it rolled off. Oh, who's that? Hmm? Looks like Sherry. Nope. Nope. Dude. It's a dude. Who's that? Down to Earth. Going to 96. 196. Uh. He picked up the bottle. Who is that? Why does he look kind of like shocked to see this person? Is he sweating? The dunk. Cannon? The dumb. Does he recognize me? The dumb. That look he's giving me. How should I handle this? Be nice? Be mean? Should I do anything? Is that his brother? Like, who is that? Should I walk away? The dumb. Oh. oh. Cannon. What a jerk off. Why is he so nervous? Like, does he owe this guy some money? Like, is this a loan shark? Like, why is he so terrified? Kate, welcome back home. Here. We're gonna see which works best for your headache. Please let me know how well it works. Tomorrow, if you're still hurting, we'll try the other brand. I appreciate all the effort you are putting in for me, Kate. Just wish I could do more for you. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Kate, I have never heard such foul language for, from you before. Uh, huh? Oh, <laughs> you heard my thoughts. Yeah, I'm really pissed off right now. Because of me? What? No way. I bumped into someone at Mom Mart, but listen. I'm more worried about you right now. We can talk about it uh, all day tomorrow. Right now, I only want you to get rest. Okay? Okay. I will, but only because I heard how sincere you said it in your head. Can you tell me about the days you had while I was gone? Sure. So that's what happened at work. Oh, and uh, Bring Me the Skyline dropped a, a new album. I've been listening to it. Oh, she knocked out. Ugh, that fucker. How could he? After what he... No. It's no use in getting angry. Calm down. And don't think about it. Oh, it's a little Kate. So it's going back. Memory. Why does our cafeteria have to be in another building? Kate! I told Alala you had a crush on her. 
You what? Why would you do that? I didn't mean to. You're so mean to me. That doesn't make sense. You're the one that... Huh? Uh... Delilah? You have a crush on Delilah? So, childhood bully? Sounds, seems like, or, well, from the way they reacted, it seems like this canon person also has a crush on Delilah, right? And he, Cade, was the one who won Delilah, so maybe that's why they have tension. My theory. All right, next one, 97, 197. Uh, Delilah? You have a crush on Delilah? Uh, um, I... How could I not? <laughs> For a young age, she always had her hair dyed. Okay, her parents were either a bad influence or a bad day. A bad day. Like the hipster parents. Like a, I'm hip type of parent. Ever since she moved here, and I fir first saw her, well, I knew she was the one. Hey, you like them too? Y yeah, it's my favorite band. I love their music. So unique, so different, so pretty. I wouldn't be shocked. If he likes her too. Cannon! What's the hold up? Let's eat before I start. Sorry. Oh, so is that Sherry's brother? They seem, the hair color and everything seems very similar. Got distracted by a bug outside. A bug? What kind? I'm so nervous I can't eat. Oh, don't see Delilah anywhere. She's not here yet. Ellie, why, why don't you do this to me? Hey. Hey, you're Kate, right? Oh. <gasps> Am I scary or something? You look like you saw a ghost. Ellie introduced us the other day. You seem cool. Where's your friends? Do you always sit alone? Uh, well, I... You can sit at my table if you want. Huh? Huh? You want me to sit with you? Of course. No one likes sitting alone. Come on. <gasps> oh. It'll be really fun. Oh. We can talk about music and games and stuff. Us? Talking about cool things? <gasps> Maybe become friends? Even after what Ellie told her? <gasps> okay! Does she not want to bring it up? Because I'll be embarrassed? Welcome to my table. Oh, okay, I see. These are my friends. That Stash? That's Sherry? Hello. And he's Cannon. Cannon and Sherry are twins. Bingo. See here. Next to Sherry. Um, th thank you. Here. Uh, thanks. Oh, <gasps> he wiggled. Uh, this is a real lizard. <laughs> Why would I give you a fake lizard? You're so silly. Do you not like the lizard? I think I have one more caterpillar. No, no, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Sherry's pretty weird, isn't she? But that's why I love her. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cannon, are you mad Dee brought a new guy to the group? A guy? Oh, I thought he was a spider. <laughs> Guys, be nice. Kate is our new friend. <gasps> I have an idea. 
Kate, tell everyone about yourself. Oh. Let's get to know each other. Okay, so that's how he got introduced to the group. So we're at 198, so I have two more episodes after this. I have an idea. Kate, tell everyone about yourself. Let's get to know each other. Uh, oh, they're all looking at me. What should I say? What if I sound stupid? It's okay. Everyone here is cool. Be yourself. Oh, okay. Oh, he's so jealous. My name is Cade. I live with my mom and I don't have siblings. Okay. I love music and games. My favorite color is blue. I love pizza and cheese chips. Who do you listen to? Bull. Oh, I like them too. What's your favorite song? Um, probably Rift. Oh, have you heard Curiosity? I like that one too. Why is it raining? Why not? That's a good dinosaur, Cherry. A dinosaur? It's a horse, silly. Oh, a horse? Want to draw something, D? <laughs> I don't like the feeling of chalk. I just want to watch you guys. Okay. Where's Cannon go? He's sulking way over there. Be right back. Be careful, my brother bites. Oh. Hey, why are you butting in? Uh huh. So you like the same music as them? So what? You seem boring to me. And Delilah's not in interested in dating. Don't get the wrong idea. She only wants friends. So do yourself a favor and don't talk to us anymore. What a stinker. Okay. But only if everyone feels the same as you. The only friend I had moved. I know you don't care, but I'd like to be friends with you. And the others. Alright. Fine. But I have two conditions. Never hurt my sister. And never date Delilah. Or you will regret it. Shh. You are so kind. Even back then. What are you? You have always been so kind and patient with others. I didn't I mean to pry. But I saw your thoughts in my sleep. <laughs> Dang it, Zeta. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So now she can see stuff without touching foreheads. Whoa, she's powerful. All right, at 199. Oh. Click. Um, got your stuff. Oh. Oh, she's sick. Thank you. I had the best brother ever. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to call me again. Of course. <gasps> she has four cats? Oh my goodness, look how cute they are. You got a fourth cat? I had to. There were kids that were treating him like a soccer ball. <laughs> I named him Nugget because he likes all the chicken flavored treats. He seems very happy and healthy now. Yeah, but... This means more vet expenses, right? Are you going to be okay? Yes, don't worry. I'm not struggling. Okay, I won't worry. I'll let you rest. Bye-bye, <laughs> best brother ever. Make it home safe.
Oh, by the way, ran into an old crush of yours. He looks just as sad as he did in high school. Whoa, it's a love triangle. Well, was a square, now a triangle then. Ow. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Uh, some of your shards are really sharp. Oh, stars! <gasps> I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Hmm. Fall out already! Are you yanking at- Hey, hey, it's okay. Don't hurt yourself. Even though I know my horns are not permanent. I still worry. Like, what if they do not fall out for some reason? How could I continue to be an earthling then? Mm. Oh! Everything will be okay today. Let's worry about that, the now, not the what if. You are right. Oh, do not forget, I can hear your thoughts at times. Oh! S sorry. What was he thinking? I, I kind of want to know. <laughs> I know you have work today, but can we lay together in bed a bit longer? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, they're watching little funny videos. Uh, uh whoa. What happened with Cosmo? That wasn't from Cosmo. Well, I brought my makeup back today. Oh, it's from... Oh, yeah, the shards. I can cover those up for you. Um, it's not... It's up to you. I don't really mind, really. Hold that thought. I got you. Oh. Okay. Sherry? I'm not used to seeing her look so serious. She usually smiles all the time. I wonder what she's doing here. <gasps> Wait, maybe she talked to Cannon. Oh, uh-oh. <gasps> Found it. Now, you won't have random people asking about it. Thanks, Susie. All done. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Sherry, what's up? Um, I know you're both busy right now, but can I speak with you for a moment? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Here's the last one. But can I speak with you for a moment? Okay. Uh, okay. Word Ako Taco. Uh, I'll let you both talk. Gotta finish restocking those shot glasses. Ugh. Sorry, I'm feeling a bit under the weather today. That's why I'm not acting my usual self. You okay? Uh, yeah, just recovering from a cold. Um, then what do you want to talk about? Mm. This is hard for me. I'm guessing your brother brought me up. Then. I ran into him last night. I yeah. I know you don't want to talk about it, but I really want to know. No. I don't want to talk about that right now. Then when? When can we talk about it? I don't know. Why does it suddenly matter? We reconnected now. Everything's fine. There's no point in talking about it. I was your best friend, Cade. Do you not realize how worried I was? I get that, but I'm fine. Are you? Yes. So let's drop it, okay? The past is the past. What happened? That's not fair. You ditched everyone with no explanation. And you get to come back just like that? No, I won't accept that. 
Uh-huh. If you won't talk to me, then why should I talk to you? Sh sure. Wait. Cannon must have said something. What did he say? What did he say? Hey, Cade? You good? Y yeah. Seems like I upset Cherry, though. What happened? She's mad that I don't want to talk about the past. But she seemed fine not talking about it before. She's your cousin, right? Did she say anything to you? We're related, but not personally close. She's just turning in her application to do makeup for the modeling event. Want me to ask her what's going on? No. Her reasons are valid. I don't blame her for being mad. Uh, hey, don't worry, I'll be back. Gonna try and sort this out quickly. You got this, Cade. He upset you yet again, didn't he? I'm so sorry, sis. But he's not a good friend. And as I told you last night, he hasn't changed at all. Please don't tell me it's the cliffhanger. Dang it! Oh my gosh. Okay, so... So what is canon... Okay, so obviously... He put out two two rules. Never hurt Cherry and never date Delilah. So I'm assuming he hurt Cherry and obviously we know he dated Delilah. So is that why he just have a huge, like that little like angry face whenever he sees Cade? If that's the case, then yeah, that makes sense. Like he put that, he put down that rule since they were really young kids, right? But what did he do to Cherry to make her not smile because every time we see her in the panels like in every episode that she's in she's always happy and you know goofy and you know has a cheesy smile and a weird little lip pucker thing what happened like oh i'm curious okay well i mean the last time they updated this um webtoon was when august 5th and it's on a hiatus Oh, it's gonna be a while, but at least I'm caught up because you guys have been, ha you know, messaging me or leaving comments on my other videos and be like, finish the reading already. I'm like, oh, I'm busy, but hopefully I can upload all this out. And uh, all right, I will be back for this webtoon for now. Check out my other readings. Uh, I, what I think, well, Down to Earth is on a hiatus. The Remarried Empress is on a hiatus. So I'll be, you guys will catch me on reading I'm the Queen in This Lifetime and uh, my in-laws are obsessed with me. Maybe I love you. So I don't know which one I will pick up next. But if you guys enjoy the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to uh, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments and subscribe if you guys want to come back and check out my reads. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!